In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install the FortiClient software on a Mac and connect the FortiClient to a FortiClient EMS server. Please note that there are extensive permissions required to allow FortiClient to work properly. Skipping or not giving all the permissions shown in this video may result in the FortiClient not connecting or not running at full protection. Also note that these permissions occur when FortiClient Mac is deployed by EMS. Once you've downloaded the FortiClient 7.0.5 installer from the Fortinet downloads page, open the file which will open up the window with the installer, technical documentation, and the uninstaller. Double click on the file called install. Click continue to advance to the license section, which will trigger another pop-up window, verifying that you must agree to the terms of the software license agreement. Click agree, then click install. A Mac OS installer window will pop up prompting you to type in your password. This will happen anytime the user attempts to install software on the computer. After typing it in, click Install Software. The FortiClient software will take a few moments to install. Two pop-up windows will appear, the first confirming that the FortiTray would like to add VPN configuration. FortiTray contains network extensions to provide remote access features for FCT SSL VPN to work properly. Click Allow. And the second warning you a system extension was blocked. Click on Open Security Preferences. The Security and Privacy window in System Preferences will open. First, click on the lock to make changes. Type in your Mac username and password and click Unlock. There will be a message telling you system software from the application FortiTray was blocked from loading. Click Allow. Click Close on the installer, which will prompt a message to move the installer to the trash. Click Move to Trash. You will notice a FortiClient icon appear on your top menu bar and a FortiClient agent notification appear. Hover over the notification and you can control whether to allow notifications for FortiClient. Select Allow. Now it's time to connect your FortiClient to the FortiClient EMS server. Click on the icon on the top menu bar and select Open FortiClient Console. Another pop-up window will appear warning you that FortiClient would like access to your documents folder. This allows FortiClient to scan your hard drive for malicious files that may compromise the security of your computer. Click OK. The FortiClient window will open and in the Zero Trust Telemetry tab, Type in the server address or invitation code and click Connect. If your certificate is unregistered, you will get an invalid certificate detected warning, asking you if you want to trust the certificate and continue. Click Accept. Two windows will appear, again asking you to open security and privacy settings, in this case to give permissions for full protection. FMON2 needs full disk permission to perform antivirus real-time scans on the endpoint disk. AFCAPMON needs full disk permission to perform sandbox scans, cloud-based malware protection, etc. The other window warns you a system extension has been blocked. Click on Open Security Preferences. Click again on the lock and enter your Mac username and password to make changes. Similar to before, there will be a message, System Software from Application 40 Client Network, was blocked from loading. FortiClient Network contains network extension and is used to filter FortiClient network traffic on endpoints so that FortiClient web filter and application firewall can work properly. You will be prompted with a warning that FortiClient Network would like to filter content. Click Allow. Another window will warn the user that permission is required for full protection and that will again prompt you to open up the security and privacy settings. When you do, click again on the lock to make changes and type in your Mac username and password. Full disk access will already be selected. Along with the two apps in the warning window, there are others that require permission. In FortiClient, under Settings, you can see them here. Click on the apps required to allow full access, shown here. Clicking on the FortiClient app will prompt a warning that FortiClient will not have full disk access until it is quit. Click on Quit and Restart. FortiClient will not work properly unless all these apps are selected. 
More than one permissions window may pop up if you do not give permissions for full protection right away. If there is another window, you can double check to make sure all the necessary apps have been selected. Going back to the Settings tab in FortiClient, you can see the message requiring full permissions for apps is gone, so no more permissions are required. Your FortiClient is now working properly and connected to the FortiClient EMS server. If you want remote access in FortiClient, select the Remote Access tab and type in your credentials to connect. Thank you for watching.